you have to wake up to the fact that over time, it takes time to wake up to it, but almost everything in your culture is a lie. And a lot of your upbringing is a lie, you know. The bloodline curse, you know. The medical, the education, all of it's a lie. You know, when you start to study the esoteric, which pretty much, in my mind, I forget the definition of it, but I'm using that word. I'm, I'm hoping I'm right, but I might be wrong. But I, what I mean is the, the, the unseen, the unseen that's hidden in plain view. When you start to study the unseen that's hidden in plain view, The system don't know what to think about that. Because you're breaking the breaking free from the, the Decepticons. <clears throat> when you if you start to see the stuff when you're too young, people call you crazy, you know. Most of the people who study the esoteric go into New Age and go in uh, anti-Bible or they go into the Book of Enoch and stuff like that. But <coughs> that's not what it's about. There's a spiritual realm, right, hidden in plain view every object is spiritual it's a it's a derivative from the spiritual it's off river derived derivative so every object that you look at is an object lesson to push you closer to deeper in faith closer to God yeah God you know, a lot of people might argue, well, God wants us to walk by faith, not by sight. I agree. So that's possibly one of the reasons a lot of people don't see it because I really believe God puts you through a test to see if you're going to walk by faith. He puts you through a lot of stuff and then once you, you know, devil will test you, people will test you, circumstances, situations, and once you're pretty much settled in your faith, maybe that's when he shows you the hidden that's in plain view, I'm not sure, but there is another world hidden in plain view. When you look at a car, you're looking at a ship, a car ship, just like an airplane is a ship. A boat is a ship. And the word ship is S, which is integration. H-I-P is hip. So Eve is the hip of Adam being integrated back in. Eve was a piece cut off from Adam being integrated back in. There's your type and shadow of the church. So everything down here, all creation, the earth is a ship, the human body is a ship, a building is a ship, a home is a ship. Everything is a ship down here. God gave Adam a body and Eve had to have a body, right? A complementary ship. God made man in his image. Eve was the, uh, made in a, uh, an image. Uh, she's not all women, but typically the woman is smaller than the man. It's a, it's a type and a shadow, an image.
the type and shadow is image, copy, reproduction, in series, in sequence, following after, to follow. That's why the Bible talks about a help meet suitable, to help meet suitable. Suit up. The word suit is just like a card, deck of cards. You know, you got a, you got the hearts, the diamonds, the spades, the clubs. You know, they follow suit. They're, they're like. Eve is like Adam. Man is like God in the image of God. If he just gets his heart right. But really, God is doing the work. Man just has to submit. So mankind has to submit to God just like Eve submits to Adam. Adam loves his wife as Christ loved the church, just as God loves uh, Israel and his creation. You saw what happened to Israel. They kept running away from God and God kept taking them back. But he had to put them through a little bit of a scourging, didn't he? If you just study the types and shadows, you'll see it. You don't have to be super spiritual. You just see the types. Abraham was a type of God the Father. Isaac, type of God the Son. Isaac's wife, type of the church. Eleazar is a type of the Holy Spirit going out and find a bride for his son. The church, the body of Christ. Covenant. A marriage is just represents a covenant. A marriage points to a co agreement, a covenant. How can two walk together except they be in agreement? Amos 3 3. Right? 33. How can you agree with God without 33? Jesus on the cross. Everything in front of you is a storyline. Everything in front of you is the Bible. Everything in front of you points back to the Scripture. The script. Your script. Scripture. God has a script. And you're in it. And once you, not, once you study the scripture enough, you realize you break it down to its constituent parts. It all breaks down to flesh versus spirit. Paul said the flesh always persecutes the spirit. That's why you're persecuted by the flesh creatures. Because they don't understand you. Because you're alien to them. You're not from here. You're seated in the heavenlies. But you're walking it out down here. It's really not complicated. This is why they love rebellion and partying and drinking and drugging and all that stuff because they're from here they, this is their only hope what else do they have besides this place that's why they do what they do they don't believe in order and peace and love and truth and joy they might call it love but it's selfish love it's not real love narcissistic love you scratch my back I'll scratch yours it's not enduring love it's not something that endures it's temporary just like the earth plane is temporary they're temporary they're temporary people so they're temporary in everything else they do